Hey everyone, Gerology here. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick couple minutes to show you the example that I have here on my iPad using the GIF Viewer app. Uh, I get a lot of questions uh, from people asking if uh, they can use them as their wallpapers, the GIFs as their wallpapers, or uh, in, in one of those digital photo frames. As far as I know, you can't um, use these in digital photo frames because they don't support GIFs. Now some of them do support GIFs, but they don't support animation, which is kind of, it throws people off, but most of the people I know out there have an iPad, so I googled a, a, a good uh, free GIF viewer, and I found one pretty much within 5 or 10 minutes, and I found one, and it, and it works perfectly in full screen, there's no ads that I could see, and all you have to do is, uh, is just find the GIFs, and I create those GIFs with the right resolution or cinemagraphs, whatever you want to use, and I'm storing those uh, on GIF Faves in a collection, which I linked on Reddit and uh, on my Tumblr as well. So if you uh, want to use this idea here, I'll show you really quick that uh, you can scroll through them. You just All you have to do is just go to a place online, or if you want to spend the extra time plugging your iPad into your PC or Mac, you can do that, but uh, it's quicker to just browse to a site or a location and just press and hold on the image and just save it to your camera roll because this is what it, it uses your camera roll. The application uses your uh, uses your camera roll. But uh, where's the one on here that uh, right here? This is a really nice one as well. So all you have to do is just tap the screen and you can go to your camera roll, you can pick whatever GIF you want. Um, I have a helicopter on here, just tap that. Of course it's not gonna, there we go. And to get it in full screen you just tap in the center again. I don't know how well you can see, I turned the light off so there's no glare on the iPad. Um, and I don't have it sitting anywhere fancy, it's just between my two monitors here, so um, just as a demonstration purpose so you can see how it works. Now let's go back to the camera roll. You can either scroll through them or go through, go to your camera roll, but uh, this is my favorite one by far because it's, it's that autumn look at the trees changing color. There's mist, there's a flowing river. It's just beautiful. But let me get a, let me zoom out for you so you can see. If you want to spend a little extra money, you can do that by, you know, you don't have to spend any money to do this if you already have an iPad. But if you want to make it look more like a picture, they have frames out there that you can put your iPads in um, that range anywhere from $30 to $100, but um, it's definitely not necessary. Um, let's get back in here. And I did uh, put a link to the application on Reddit and uh, on my Tumblr page. So if you follow me on uh, Reddit or Tumblr, you'll definitely be able to find that link and uh, get the application and get your iPad looking like this, it's mostly just to uh, to have for a cosmetic look. Uh, a lot of people were asking me if I could, if they could put these, and like I said, in the digital frames and stuff like that. And I thought, you know what, this is a great idea. And if you already have an iPad, it's free. You don't have to pay any money to do it. So I'd recommend plugging your iPad in while you do this. But I tested it yesterday. I was able to get eight hours on. A screen that never shut off just like this I had from full to zero in eight hours with just playing just letting this GIF viewer play throughout the day all right if you guys have any questions feel free to shoot me a message anywhere on tumblr or reddit and uh, I'll be do my best to uh, to answer your questions hope you guys enjoy this